So how do you turn boring design into something amazing? I've got three tips in this video that I'm gonna share with you that you can make your designs better quality, more engaging, and just enhance the visual design of it and make it more interesting. You know, when you're doing client work, side projects, or maybe it's just some art you're doing for fun. I'm gonna share three tips with you. So if you guys wait to the end, there will be a giveaway. You will be giving away a H320M graphics tablet and I will be announcing the winner by Friday 11th. So make sure you put in the comments what you would design if you won this tablet and I'll pick a random winner um, before Friday the 11th. So hope you guys um, enjoy that. My first tip on how to increase your designs is actually effort is free. The more effort you put, the more time and attention you give to your designs is actually gonna be better. You know, if you try and rush things, if you spend a little bit of time, it's not gonna come out in the best quality because you haven't had time to meditate and marinate on the ideas or, you know, add layers or add effects or add textures, you know? So put in the effort, put in the time, you know, be creative and experiment, see what mock-ups you can use or what, you know, assets or graphics you can add into that design or that poster or whatever you're doing. Effort is free. So first off, I just wanna say thanks to Huon. They sent me this graphics drawing tablet. It's the um, 610X, and it actually has a really nice quality pen um, nib. It feels a little light, but it does have a nice um, flow to it. It's also pretty responsive as well. So when I touch it, I feel it in Photoshop, and the brushes works really well. The tablet is a bit small for me, but I think it's good for traveling. So if you have a laptop, then it's, it's really, really useful. Not only that, but it's a has a USB. You just plug and play. Super simple, super easy to get started. My second tip is use tools that you're comfortable with. So for me, I know I'm really good with Illustrator and Photoshop. So if I want to create an, a design or an art piece, I'm going to be using those tools because I'm familiar with them. I'm used to the tools. I, I know the keyboard shortcuts. You know, I'm super efficient in them. And it just makes my workflow a lot better because, you know, I can trust that I can get the stuff, the job done in within those um, programs. So find something that you'll work fast in, that you're comfortable using, so you're not spending time trying to learn all the tools and figure it out when you're trying to create a really cool design. Number three, spend more time on ideas. There's so much research that usually goes into a big project, but research from multiple sources. Don't just research and, and copy one person. Try and you know, e extract ideas from everywhere, music and architecture, or look at different types of designers, a traditional digital, um, you know, digital artists, um, you know, logo designers, whatever it is, try and mix it up, get ideas from everywhere and your design is gonna be a lot better, I assure you of that. Overall, as I was working on this piece here, I was just thinking on these tips and thinking on how to make my designs better and, you know, I've actually applied these things and it actually works, especially when, you know, in Photoshop, when I'm playing around with layers or adding effects or adding a bit of brush or texture, it makes it a whole lot better. And the Huon has made it a lot easier using a graphic tablet. Sometimes you can get tired using a mouse, but using a, a tablet like that makes the workflow a bit easier, especially if you're in Photoshop. So I can adjust the pressure settings very easily. And the cool thing with Huon, they have this little app where I can actually change it and, and shift it to how I want it, if I want hard pressure or soft pressure, which gives me the capabilities to do brush strokes or um, paint in a certain way on how I like it. And that's what I really like with this um, little app. And uh, it doesn't make your computer run slow or anything as well. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Subscribe for more content. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.